Uh, Adam, there you go. Hey, how are you? We start at quarter two. Yeah, I think it's uh, a little bit right right after quarter two. No. So you're a little bit late there. My watch right there. 44. I just think these people have really come to see a good show. And, uh, it's a little yeah. late, and, and the you, people you, running late are going to come in and be like, oh my gosh, he said they started at quarter two. Oh. Ever since he was a camper, he's tried to run the show. <laughs> it's true. And in fact, your only successful show is in the United States. I disagree with you. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. And Will Davis might disagree with you. Well, I'm I just saying. <laughs> right? Back when he was a camper, he would tell me how he was going to act. I would correct him, and he would cry. <laughs> Job assistant director. Yeah, that's a really nice job helping out with the play this year. <laughs> In all seriousness, though, we do have a great show for you lined up tonight. Trout Lake Story here at 2013 RIC. Um, awesome. Moreno, our head director, and uh, Dave Evans on piano here. So, so please put your hands together. The North Woods and Tri- 
south lake, the cabins, the trees, the quietness before the campers come. Carol, Mary Ellen, and Marilyn, and Steve, and everyone who helps to get things done. The sunshine and the horses with their smell. <sighs> <laughs> Okay. 
the longest day of my life. <laughs> no kidding. I thought camp was supposed to be fun. But it actually worked. I know. This was supposed to be a simple summer job. Something to do instead of summer classes. I was hoping to put off the real world. But now, the real world doesn't look that bad. I know. I've got this kid in my hand who won't stop crying. I mean, I know he's homesick. He has to run out of here sooner or later, right? Crying? Maybe some mysterious gonna help put out one of the fires one of my boys keeps trying to start. Seems like every time I turn my head, he's more mad. He's trying to light something else on fire. <laughs> we had to duct tape our kids to their bunks just to get them to fall asleep. Like crazy little gators down the body, all hopped off on my mama's jambalaya. <laughs> well, at least your cabin doesn't hate you. I'm sure your cabin doesn't hate you. Oh, no. They do. They told me at night. Well, it's not even the second day in camp and my boys are eating with me. This was supposed to be a relaxing summer, just playing with kids at camp. Nowhere in the flyer did say anything about this one. Yeah, what's wrong with kids these days? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're on like way too much. Way, way too much. much. Play too many video games. Be way 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 too way much. Much. And don't have any respect for authority. No, 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 no. I know. I was never like this as a kid. I just <laughs> obeyed the rules and was fun to be around. These kids are nothing but work. Kids today, I think they're out of control. <laughs> I think I hear him in the eight. 
You better get a move on your cleanup. The bell for flag raising will be ringing soon, and you don't want to be late for that. Fred will be on you the whole summer if you are. Oh, okay. Is that Ryan you were just talking to? Yeah, he's having a little trouble adjusting to the instant parenthood of 18 age boys. <laughs> yeah, well, Steve needs to start adjusting to the cleanup of 80 of these boys. Three of the eight toilets are clogged and overflowing, and I need to get the flag raised. Steve, oh, Steve, you've got work to do. Hey, 
I gotta go. <laughs> a skater that can play basketball? Who would have ever believed it? Thank you. 
Here, put this on. Uh, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> I'm stupid. Awesome! You look like a jock! Uh, I gotta go. Good 
enough now that you have your big popular jock friends? Wait, guys, it's not like that. Yeah, Brown and Trey have become two cool girls. Whatever, Jocko, go hang out with your cool athletic friends. <laughs>
You counselors are the role models. Okay, gentlemen. Let's solutionize a solution to this situational situation. <laughs> yeah. I'm just amazed that some poor, miserable camp would look up to me for help. Well, uh, it's our job to help them to grow uh, and learn this summer. Uh. <laughs> It's right. 
skaters get along? You do. Come on, don't back out now. You finally understand that jocks and skaters are just stereotyped idols. That some can be both, or neither for that matter. Yeah, but now neither group really wants to hang out with me. I mean, the skaters think I betrayed them and became a jock. And the jocks are mad because they like the skaters. I can't win. Besides, I'm only one person. One person can change the world, Trey. You can change Red Arrow for the better by showing these guys they're not as different as they think. I still think it's a crazy plan. Well, Sue and I talked, and we both agree this plan may just be crazy enough to work. I hope you're right. Me too. I'll let you get back to practicing. Tomorrow's a new, brand new day for us, Trey. Thanks to you, it's going to be awesome. Later, Trey. Later. Captain Hook and Salute Saddle!
eye coordination. How about that amazing balance you skaters must yeah, have? That's true. Well, I guess there's a lot of things we didn't realize about each other. Yeah. So, I hear skateboard was a huge success. Yeah, I mean, I can't believe it actually worked. The boys are actually getting along. It's a miracle. It's no miracle. It's good counseling. Hey, Sue and Fred. Hey, Brian. What's up, guys? Well, we were thinking. You know how Trey was able to combine basketball and skateboarding into a new activity that brought the two groups together? Yeah, we remember. It was like only 30 seconds ago. <laughs> well, we were thinking, if it worked for us, why not other groups of kids in our school? Like the cheerleaders and the math geeks. We'll call it cheerometry. Or the goth kids in the drama club. We'll call it gothical theater. Whoa, gentlemen. Slow down. <laughs> Hey, Sue, it only takes one person to change the world, right? That's right. Just think of the impact all our campers are going to make on the world. When we all come together, there is nothing we can't do. 